All right, this is our 2022 moose hunt and flying to Katsubu. On the first day, we're going to uh, fly to Galena and then a little bit further to our hunting camp. On the second day, we're going to fly on to Katsubu and then we're going to fly out to our uh, hunting location. Should be a grand adventure. I uh, hope you like it. Here's going through uh, Merrill Pass. Uh, it's tight. I don't think uh, most airplanes could even attempt to turn around. Maybe you could with the Super Cub real slow, but it's, uh, it's very tight. Uh, it's beautiful. Uh, made it through with no problems. Uh, and then I headed for uh, a friend's cabin. Uh, checked in with him and then uh, headed on to McGrath. We're here in uh, McGrath. Just fueled up. Pretty simple. Go inside that building, swipe your card, fill up. Get done, swipe your card again, get a receipt. Alright, we just left uh, McGrath. 
I'm flying at uh, 2,400 feet. And uh, there's a lot of clouds here, right at 25, 2,600. I'm having to dodge a few. Got to get over the top of one of these mountains over here. I could go around, uh, but the tops are like at 2,900, so it's not, it's not that bad. I could go around them if I need to be. As I get closer to them, I'll be able to see. Anyway, so far, uh, the day's been uh, busy most of the way. You know, there's low clouds, there's high clouds. Uh, so a little dodging of clouds today. And I just broke out into uh, a little bit open open ground here. The, the clouds are a little bit higher right through here, so it's a lot nicer. Anyways, one of my cameras gave up this morning. First thing, right off the bat. So I had to hold it. And these other two cameras, the one on my wing and the one uh, that was behind me, uh, I think they failed to, to kick on when needed. So I don't think I got very much footage on the way up, but uh, the hand, the handheld one, my uh, GoPro 9, it's the one the base fell off of, but I could hand hold it. I got some good shots, I think, on that. Anyways, we're making progress. Talk to you later. All right, if you guys ever wanted to know what Galena looks like, it's pretty desolate. Not much here at the airport, that's for sure. Anyways, we're going to get ready to get out of here, head to Moose Camp, next stop. It is 4 o'clock. Talk to you later. Port. Automated weather observation. Zero, zero, one, seven. Zulu. Wind missing. Visibility, one, zero. Sky condition, overcast, six. Thousand five hundred temperature one three Celsius dew point zero six Celsius altimeter two niner niner six Edward G. Pitka Senior Airport Automated Weather Observation Zero Zero One Seven Zulu Wind Missing Ever picket Galena, Cub 8301, Papa. Taxi in 6, gravel. Departing here. site there's where we walk up anyways taxi it all the way down here yeah it's good landing was uh, a little longer than what I wanted but it wasn't bad All right, got the tent set up. Should be pretty comfortable. A little rocky, but I used the seats of the frame. <clears throat> I think we'll be all right in there. Had some dinner. Oh, good morning. 
definitely is a foggy morning. There's the uh, mountain across. Can't hardly see it. I've got the uh, pack raft pumped up. That's where I slept last night. Got some breakfast over there this morning. Anyways, uh, I'm just about out of batteries. I got this one kind of hooked up here. It'll work for a while. And uh, so I'm going to go over the other side of the river, climb the mountain today, take a look at it, see what's going on up there. See if I can see the valley. Anyways, just bringing you up to date. It was a good, uh, good sleep. As soon as this frog clears up and uh, we get some frost off the wings, we'll be ready to fly. You can see I've got some uh, some frost here. Yeah. You can see that, and uh, look up there. You can see some frost up there. So, all right, we're gonna launch this boat. Try to get across the river, but we're gonna see if I can make this thing work. Hang on there. As you can see, I'm going down the river. And we're getting close to the other side. Last year I couldn't walk up that bank. Now this year it looks like we made it. Even trying to film, it's a pain. Oh, well, we're getting it. Four three, favorite drumway niner. Totems 100, low lead not available, runway 9 or 27, north 75 feet closed, taxiway echo closed, runway 27, Pape out of service, runway 9 or 27, runway end identifier lights out of service, runway 9 or 27, surface markings not standard, runway 9 or ILS out of service. All other reports are requested, contact out to radio 123.6, traffic advisory is advised on initial contact to have hotel.
see a herb. I'm just getting ready to uh, leave the shore right before the island. Okay, yeah, we're just a little bit off here, uh, kind of northeast a little bit over here. Jim Papa departing 2-9, we'll turn out to the uh, west. Craig, ready. All right, let's roll. Got birds right down here on the end. You see them? Something dead on this trip. Roger. Too short. Got a big old hump right in the middle. See how it's blowing me? Yeah. Look at those trees. Let's go up here a little bit. Okay. We're in the worst part of the day too, Craig. Windy time. Oh. Uh. That 20 mile an hour head one would be awesome if I could keep it on the nose. But when it's like over here, there's no way. Yeah, I have a max of like 10 miles an hour, any crosswind, with these wings like this. That's a, that's a handful. Of Okay, here we go. Oh, what a night. There's our latest moose. And that's the uh, first moose. Plain. Transferring some fuel to the old raft. 
This is uh, looking north or downstream. Anyways, successful day yesterday. Didn't have my GoPro with me. All the batteries were dead. And they hadn't done our second drop yet for all of our batteries and our backups and stuff, so. Well, there's that uh, can gone. Anyways, that 60 inch bowl. She's an old one. You can see all the points are nubbed off. This side a little bit smaller than that side. Standard old bull. It's a nice one. The one that we couldn't pass up. Today we uh, take care of all this work around camp get this uh, head cut off get our meat dried new game bags put on it nice and clean get it ready to ship and hopefully we'll have more of your adventure coming up real soon Sleeping bag. Tent. Ladder. Rubber raft. Rubber raft. strip here it's got a bad little hump right there in the middle We're right at uh, 900 yards total but this little hump right there is right dead center I don't know if it's usable or not Yeah, but he's wide. Look how much wider the palms are. Yeah. yeah. He's bigger, Craig. Yeah. One, two, three, back here. Oof. Close to the river for us. That's the way we like them. Doing his tag.
first thing. Yeah. Look at that. Four pictures before we got it. There we go. You see the steam rising over there from the hot springs. There's the old airstrip. All right, we're at Sermit. Serpentine Strip, Bering Land Bridge National Park. Well, there's a hot spring right there. Couple changing rooms. And a couple. Oh, there we are. Central room here, and then there's sleeping over there. Uh, there's a group, and over here you can keep a group. Oh, okay. There should be a log book in here. I did see log books, Yeah, much more of the same, huh? Yeah. Figured out how to cool it down from 170. Shut off the hot water. Beautiful little rain. Nice bunk canals, serpentine hot springs. There's the spa house. These are the stars they talk about. You can see some over the top of that bunkhouse up there on this hillside. T-A-R-S, TARS. I think it's some type of rock for me. All right, a little bit of spa time. Didn't stay very long. Doesn't do me very good to do that. I have a look back behind me. There's the old uh, spa house.
years ago, huh? Look at that. Oh, yeah. The old pop top. Yeah, there's some of you Minneapolis, Minnesota. Look at the timbers. Big old timbers. So it was just about this time that we got a call from Kotzebue uh, telling us a big storm is headed our way. So we packed up a camp, uh, got everything together. I flew uh, loads out and Craig uh, floated the moose down river to a bigger gravel bar where a 206 airplane could come in and uh, pick it up. And uh, we got ourselves out of that country uh, within just a few hours. Flew back to uh, Kotzebue. Uh, Craig uh, flew back also uh, with the 206. And we got to Kotzebue. We packed up everything, palletized it, uh, wrapped it up, and shipped everything back to Anchorage. Uh, then the storm uh, was starting to really pick up by that time, uh, blowing about 25 to 35. Uh, so I decided to uh, try to get out of that country. So I flew 